Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Six Shadows, back at it again with the solo survival. And it has been a while guys, apologies for that. I was going to take one day off because I went to see the new Deadpool movie. I was basically out for the whole day. It's a fucking great movie though, highly recommend it, very funny. Probably as good as the first one, which is pretty rare. Sequels are usually pretty bad in my experience anyway. So we're back here at the base. I have not played in two days at all. The only thing I did was I put down two heavy turrets on the ground and I did, I believe, one metal run. That's about it. Apart from that, nothing's moved, nothing's changed since you guys last saw it. I haven't been wiped, which is good. The next thing we're gonna do, guys, is we're actually gonna prefab our next base, which I'm not actually gonna use. It's just gonna be if I get wiped. For some reason, there's quite a lot of comments of people actually doubting whether or not I actually farm the base or I just get it given to me or have help or whatever. So people seem to have this illusion that it's really fucking hard to farm solo when it's honestly not. It's pretty fucking easy, especially once you get to the RG Anki stage. Just quickly going to make myself up the base that I have here, exact replica, and just go and upload it and hide it later. There we go. We've got the base crafting. I need to make myself smithies, forges, and fabricator, vault, all of that kind of stuff. All right, let's get some forges going. So there we go, the base is done. I just gotta make myself a, I gotta get a vault. I gotta get a generator. I should probably get some turrets as well, but I don't have many electronics as you can see. I'm pretty goddamn lazy to actually do pearl runs. That's probably the most annoying thing to do solo. There we go, we got three turrets, perfect. All right, there we go guys, good shit. Now that that's out of the way, I don't want this, I don't want this to take up too much time. I just wanted to show people that I actually do it. I don't know why I even care to be honest, but there was actually a decent chunk of comments. Okay, here we are guys, we're in my hiding spot. Now you guys won't get to see anything at all. This is all you get to see, my vault that I put my backup shit into. Uh, which I'm going to do now. There we go. We've got our backup base in the vault right here. I just want to show you that I am storing the shit. Uh, it's not in a mega tribe base or anything. I'm solo player, only person in the tribe. No one else has ever joined. And yeah, that's pretty much all you guys get to see. At the end of the series, I will be revealing the spot. So we stashed our backup base in our little hiding spot. I don't really feel like doing anything today, to be honest. I just want to blow some shit up. So I've kitted out. I'm ready to head out for some PvP. I really need some good flak because we're still rocking primitive flak. Can't seem to find that blueprint that I got in the last episode. I think it was like a leggings, flak leggings. I have no idea where I fucking placed it. There we go, guys. Just spawn in on the server. It doesn't look like I've been here before because I don't actually have a tribe on the server, which is a good sign. Usually I join like an Asian island server and I already have a tribe here and I'd be like, oh shit, now I gotta wait out an extra timer. But here we go. Hopefully we get lucky. We just gotta go ahead and scout the whole server. Uh, let's cut to if we find anything. Okay guys, so the options are pretty scarce. I've been looking for quite some time. It's actually the next day again. I know I took three days off in a row. Fucking horrible, but I did come across this base. Now I wouldn't normally rate it because it is kind of small. But then I noticed that he has a level 332 Derry and he has a blue mutated Argy. So he's definitely friends with the Alphas. He's in a metal base. He's got plant turrets that just started to grow. So I think it might be worth it. And I almost just died from fall damage. <laughs> I hope his theory is not on aggressive or we're fucked. Okay, no, we seem to be fine. So yeah, level 300. It's actually owned by someone else. Lolly Platoon. It's not actually owned by this guy. So I think I should kill that one. I don't normally kill tames of like new players. But I think this one is worth the kill. It's obviously being parked here by some other tribe. Yeah, I guess let's just get straight into his base. All right, what do we got? Uh, we got seven grenades. Fuck yeah. Mastercraft pistol? 220 damage? Fucking, I'll take it. Uh, we got a bunch of paste. I'll take that as well. Oh, there's a guy here. Let's see what this guy... Oh my god. Here we go, boys. We got some fucking juicy flak. Let's go ahead and put that on and dump a set of primitive because after the recent patch, flak actually weighs a shitload. So let's go ahead and drop a set. I think I should be able to glide over now. Fuck yeah. All right, what do we got in here? We got another sleeper. He's just in primitive. Uh, the box is basically empty. This one's pin coded. I kind of want to try and break it, but I really hate breaking boxes. Kind of stuck in here now because the high level Therry is out there on neutral, so we're pretty much fucked. I'm really happy with the flak though. Like the chest piece that I'm wearing is fucking 900 durability. What do we get in the box? Nothing special. Like, so yeah, take a look at this flak chest piece, guys. We've got a 900 dura chest piece. Once we get that repaired and if we don't lose it too quickly, we can actually run at some turrets. All right, let's kill this fucking blue Argy. I have a good feeling about this blue Argy. There we go, guys. Holy shit, that took fucking ages. And it was not worth at all. We got a 76 armor saddle crafted by T and that's it. Yeah, that definitely wasn't worth. We uh, we used every single one of our shotgun shells and quite a lot of our simple bullets. So we're pretty much screwed. All right, and we're back guys. Almost an hour later, the fucking worst thing happened. I actually lost my character. Uh, super fucking annoying. Nothing I can really do about it. So I'm on my last character now. This is the last high level character that I actually have. Now, along with losing my character, I also lost all the items that I just got from that raid. 
So what I did, I went into my personal vaults and I replaced them with stuff that I had that was similar. For example, I got a I got a 208% pistol. I think the other one I got was 202%. I got some of my own flak, which is similar to the flak that I just got. But I tried to keep it authentic, guys. I didn't go too overboard. I didn't like pull out like 295 damage items. I just got stuff that was similar to what I had before. So yeah, we're back on the server, guys. Same server we we're on before. And when I was waiting for the upload timer, the chat was pretty fucking active. Now, some guys in the chat were trying to help out the bobs. They're like, if you want to live peacefully, come to North 1. We'll protect you. So what I'm going to do is look for the guys that are offering protection. Here we go. Here we go. Sex Masters. They got some turrets. They weren't actually the people that were offering protection, though. It was a different tribe. These guys actually have a decent amount of turrets, like, but I'm pretty sure I could run at that if I wanted to. Before that, though, I'm going to keep on looking and see what other bases are around here, because... Now, it seems like there's a base on top of this pillar, so I'm going to grapple up, take a little look. It doesn't look like the Alpha Tribe base, and it's the wrong tribe name again. I can't remember what tribe I'm actually looking for. I can remember what I'm not looking for. So, this guy's only got Plantar. It's probably not worth the raid. Can we pop up here a little bit? There we go. Oh, what's that down there? With all the plant turrets on the pillar. Okay, that's his main base. Whatever this is, it's not his main base. Uh, so we'll go down and take a look at that. That could be juicy. There's a stone gate on his base, which is kind of weird. Interesting design choice. So I think this is the first one we'll do, guys. We should just be able to parachute straight to his front door. So let's go for it. We're just going to jump, parachute to the front door. All right, that was pretty easy. I'm pretty sure we could have just grappled up from the bottom. <laughs> We wouldn't have had to actually take that damage to our flak. We could have just grappled up from down there and got underneath. So we'll blow into this one, I think. All right, what, is, what has he got, if anything? Oh, he's got a whole bunch of paste, obsidian. Fuck yeah. Is that C, enough for C4? Missing fiber and height. Bunch of forges. Where's his smithy? He has to have a smithy, right? We don't actually have that much C4. I could easily make more C4 at base, but... I guess we'll just go through here and see what's inside. Oh, fuck me. We blew into the goddamn... We blew into the goddamn gated area. <laughs> we actually wanted to go into this one. Fuck. Fuck it. Let's check it out. Oh, we broke the fabricator. I'm not really thinking, guys. What am I doing? Please be good. What do we get? Nothing. Oh, we had a fridge. Anything fertilized? Nope. He doesn't even have a smithy in his base, as far as I can tell. Unless it's in this one. I wonder what's in this one. Fuck it, guys. We're blowing it up. We're going to have to go back and craft some more C4. Was that just beds? Ah, uh, yeah. So a bit of a rip there, guys. Not as juicy as I would have hoped. Uh, with a bit more electronics, we could have made some turrets. With a bit more gunpowder, we could have made more C4. Uh, but it's all good. We got the raw mats out. Let's get out of here and go on to the next base. All right, and we're back, guys. I transferred all that stuff I got back to my base. I downloaded my 10 C4 from the drop. So we're back at it again. Back on the same server. Oh shit, there's a guy below me, guys, on a mutated RG. Where's he going? What's his tribe name? So many questions. Killed him. Fucking easy, boys. Easy. Simple pistol. OP. What's his tribe name? White Walkers. Where's his body? Ah, oh, here we go. Is this him? Uh, what did he have on him? Anything good? He's got a pike. He's got a long neck. I'll take the long neck. RG is level 246. Do we want to kill their RG? They obviously live in the snow, so he's flying back to his base by the looks of it. Maybe we follow him back to the base or try and go ahead of him to his base. Because I'm guessing it's out there in the snow, possibly on an iceberg. Okay, so this must be the Alpha Tribe. Not too established Alpha Tribe, but definitely the Alpha Tribe. Uh, decent amount of turrets, probably more than I can handle. Now that I'm seeing they're pretty well established, I wish I killed the guys RG. Oh, they have heavies as well, guys. Rip. Okay, so I think I found the guys. So these people here are the ones that were offering protection. I don't know where they actually live yet, but I have found them doing a metal run. So we're going to stalk them, follow them back to their base. I could quite easily kill them both, but I don't want to do that. We want to find out where they live. So yeah, there's this base here. It's got a fabricator in it, but surely they don't live in that base, right? Oh my god, they're actually landing in that base. <laughs> I gotta raid them, guys. They could be prefabbing a metal base. I could get so much metal structure from them if I actually kill them. Uh, so I think it's worth a try. Alright, we kill one. Oh, he closed the door quick. That guy has fast reaction times. Alright, let's just blow in real quick. No fucking, no guilt, no shame. Let's go. All right, what do we got? Oh, 64, fucking beautiful. We got paste, we got poly. 
Mortar and pestle, mortar and pestle. Smithy with a fucking shitload of paste and metal. Oh my god. Oh my god, Windows updates just popped up. Fuck off, Windows updates. So much metal and paste. They didn't turn it into structures though, and I broke it. This is unfortunate, guys. This is unfortunate. What do we want? What do we want? I want the electronics. I want the poly. I want the paste. I guess we're just going to be fucking balling on paste. I don't even think I can hold it. So much fucking paste. And the simple pistol as well. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, we're so fuck. We're overweight. Uh, but still, I'm really fucking happy with that. I'm actually glad I raided them. Even though paste is pretty easy to get. Still pretty good. Now, it looks like in chat they're calling for help. Someone from the other base that I plan on raiding later with the eight turrets. Uh, so we're going to hang around. We're going to wait for them and see if they appear. I don't want to keep killing them. Like, I want to let them loot their stuff. I don't want all their metal to go to waste. I just want the PvP that comes with the people that are coming to defend. They farm so much metal. Like, why didn't they live in a metal base? It doesn't make sense. They must have been, like, preparing to start crafting. I don't know. All right, let's stalk them a little bit. Here comes a Tyranodon. The guy's naked on it, it looks like. Did he stop? It looks like he kind of stopped up the hill. Fuck, how did I lose him? I thought I could have killed him with the shotgun. I should have used a simple pistol. My mistake. Let's head back down there. So yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna fuck with these guys. I wanna wait for the other tribe. So maybe I should just go over the other side of the water and go towards their base, like the tribe that I'm gonna raid next. Alright, he's out. He came out with gear. Alright, we killed him or we killed his Tyranodon. I think a simple pistol would probably be better. All right, there we go. Got him down. He must be in primitive flak, surely. He has his own shotgun. 188 damage. I don't even think I can carry that, to be honest. I'll take the ammo, though. And yeah, he has primitive flak. Decent boots, though. I'll take those and drop my primitive ones. Uh, now, planning out this raid, I'm not actually going to do it right now because I need to drop off a bunch of stuff before I do it, but it should be pretty easy. I'm thinking we grapple out from the bottom and into the, like that L-shaped part of the walls. So we grapple up into this part and we'll only be getting shot by the one turret, that one there. But I don't want to do it while I have all this stuff on me. So I want to transfer out first and then come back. Back on the server, feeling refreshed. I just ate my dinner. I'm ready to raid this base up on the hill. That just, what the fuck? Why can't I grapple to his actual base? That is fucking weird, guys. I can't actually grapple to his base. I don't know why. What the fuck is happening? All right, here we go. That was pretty easy. <laughs> this turret has no ammo, from what I can tell. All right, up we go. Perfect. It doesn't look like it, guys. No internals. Oh, they got a vault. Why did I put my C4 away? Is it pink coated? Oh my god, it's pink coated. That's really unlucky. All right, what have we got on the bookshelf? Oh, we got flak boots, 209 Jira. Is that the only flak BP that I got? Oh, we got a stego saddle, 61 armor, I'll take it. That's about it, guys. I don't think I want anything else. Got some prim flak. Oh, we got a C4 detonator. We got a flak helmet BP, fuck yeah. Uh, they're pretty bad, but they're, I mean, still better than primitive. Not by much. More cementing paste. We're fucking rolling in cementing paste at the moment. Fabricator. Oh my god. Fuck yes. All right, we got fucking autos, boys. Eight auto turrets. What was in the fridge? 13 dodo kibble. Free pteranodon team right there. We got a scorpion kibble. 33 dodo eggs that I don't know if I can carry or not. We'll see towards the end. Now, I kind of want to get inside this vault, guys. I'm tempted to go back and get my C4 and come back to here. Because it's pretty empty. Besides the turrets, like, it's pretty empty in the actual fabricator. You could have the mats to make shit in the vault. Maybe. All right, we're going to do this one at a time, nice and slow, just so we don't mess it up. Sometimes C4 bugs out and, like, blows itself up and doesn't do any damage. So one at a time is the safest way to do it. Two more C4 to go, guys. Here we go. Write down in the comments if you think it's going to be worth before you watch it or not. I'm leaning towards not worth. Here we go. What do we got? All right, we got paste, generator, few electronics, a prefab greenhouse, some metal tools, some hard poly. We got a lot of stuff, but like nothing too good. All right, I think we're good to go, guys. We got everything we need. Can I actually? All right, I think we're good to go, guys. We got everything we actually want and can carry. I'm not missing any. 
All right, I think that's it. Can I carry any of the greenhouse? Because I kind of want the greenhouse. I uh, ceilings and the walls. We're pretty fucking heavy, but we can actually walk. So yeah, I think I'm gonna end the episode there, guys. Not much more is gonna happen today. Just go on a search for a drop, upload all this loot, and get it back to my base. As I said, I had a whole lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.